This past Sunday, I shared with our church family how important it is that we come prepared to worship God. When we look at what happened in creation, God created the heavens and the earth and everything in them on six days. And then on the seventh day, the Bible says that he rested. He blessed that day. He set it aside as a holy day, the day that he stopped creating. And really what we get from that is that God looked back over those six days and he celebrated his creation. And it really applies to what's supposed to happen on Sundays when we come to worship God. We ought to be able to look back on the previous six days and see where God has been working in our lives and come to celebrate Him. We have something to celebrate and to be engaged in worship when we come on Sundays. And I think a lot of us are missing it uh, on our Sunday experience because we're not engaged with God. We've not really experienced Him through the week. And so it leads me to ask a few questions. Why is it that when you come on Sunday or I come on Sunday, we don't have an attitude of celebration or when we're there, we're not engaged in worship. Uh, when it just simply means that in the previous six days, we've not been praying, we've not been in his word, we've not been sharing the gospel with somebody else, we've not been serving the Lord. Because if we are doing that, we've been able to see God work in our lives and we come on, that, on Sunday and celebrate. Fasting, as we're doing over these 21 days, allows us that opportunity to create space for God to reveal himself to us, for God to work in our lives. And it's an intense time of being able to connect with him so that when we come this coming Sunday, we'll be able to worship him. And I pray that uh, Sunday will be different for us as a church as we come to celebrate the work that he's doing in our lives and bring glory to him, which will draw others to him as well. God bless you.